In this video, I'd like to show a few examples for differentiation of logarithmic functions. Before starting examples, you need to know the derivative formulas as shown. In many cases, we need to make use of the properties of logarithm as well. Please remember that if you see ln symbol, it is called natural log, and it has a base e. If you see log, it has the base 10. Let's take a look at the first example. Find the derivative of a natural log of x cubed bracket x squared plus 7 raised to the power of 4. We can see the log of a product, so let's use the product property of logs. A log of a product can be changed into the sum of two logs, so we rewrite it using the property. We still see the exponent, so we apply the power property of logs. The exponent can be moved in front of logs. Now we can apply the derivative formula of natural log. Let's identify u and u prime what do you dx for the first one u equal x and u prime equal one and u equal x squared plus seven with u prime equal two x for the second one now we have u and the derivative of u values so let's apply the right side of the formula for each one to find the derivatives. Make sure that there is no natural log for the derivative. For the first one, since the formula says 1 over u times u prime, we have 3 times 1 over x times 1. For the second one, we have 4 times 1 over x squared plus 7 times 2x. Simplifying each fraction to get dy dx equals 3 over x plus 8x over x squared plus 7. If you want to combine the two fractions, then the re result is shown. Let's take a look at the second example. Find the derivative of y equals ln of cube root of 6x cubed plus 5 over square root of 4x squared plus 1. We can see the log of a quotient, so let's use the quotient property of logs. A log of quotient can be changed into the difference of two logs, so we rewrite it using the property. Notice that I changed the cube root to one third exponent and the square root to one half. We still see the exponent, so we apply the power property of logs to move the exponent in front of logs. Now we can apply the derivative of natural log formula. Let's identify u and find u prime. For the first one, u equal 6x cubed plus 5, and u prime equal 18x squared. u equal 4x squared plus 1, with u prime equal 8x for the second one. Now we have u and the derivative of u values so let's apply the right side of the formula for each one. Make sure that there is no natural log for the derivative. For the first one, since the formula says 1 over u times u prime, we have 1 third times 1 over 6x cubed plus 5 times 18x squared. For the second one, we have half times 1 over 4x squared plus 1 times 8x. Simplifying each fraction to get y prime equal 6x squared over 6x cubed 
plus 5 minus 4x over 4x squared plus 1. We cannot cancel 2, 6, and 4 since the denominators have two terms. Let's take a look at the last example. Find the derivative of y equals log of x times both roots of 5x squared plus 3. When we see log, make sure that it has a base of 10. We can see the log of a product, so let's use the product property of logs. A log of a product can be changed into the sum of two logs, so we rewrite it using the property. Note that both roots is changed to one fourth as the exponent. We still see the exponent, so we apply the power property of logs. The exponent can be moved in front of logs. Now we can apply the general derivative formula of log. Let's identify u, u prime, and b. For the first one, u equal to x, u prime equal to 1, and base 10. For the second one, u equal to 5x squared plus 3, u prime equal to 10x, and b equal to 10. Now we have u, u prime, and the b values for each function, so let's apply the right side of the formula. Make sure that there is ln of b in the formula this time. For the first one, we have 1 over x multiplying the denominator by ln of 10 times 1 as u prime. For the second one, we have 1 fourth times 1 over 5x squared plus 3 multiplying the denominator by ln of 10 times 10x as u prime. Simplifying the second fraction to get the final answer as shown. Thank you for watching. See you next time.